Gentari just subscribed. Thank you for the support. Yes. <laughs> I just saw that one hour. It started over. Hey, Fortune. Hey, Jen. Hey, DJ. Hey, Eremi. Welcome in, everyone. How y'all doing today? I did see that. I guess my timer, for some reason, I had it set to, to reset. Yo, friend. Welcome in. How you guys doing today? How's everyone doing this beautiful day? Look at Fortune. Look at friend. Look at DJ. Look at Jen. Look at everyone. Yeah, we'll do some puppy treats. They've been so excited. They've been waiting so long to get puppy treats again. 
one out right a one hour starting soon screen probably would not recommend that probably not the way to go oh <gasps> is that zacky zacky my dude dude how you doing today zach all the good vibes all the hype all the goodness yo star welcome in welcome in everyone happy monday happy good days hi layla how you doing today all right what's the plan are we gonna start with some leave it's are we gonna do some leave it's hi layla say this she's so happy she's like i've waited so long for this we're doing this again don't listen to her face she was definitely getting puppy tees for sure on her days off i know layla being layla layla drooling everywhere hi layla good morning all right nope no 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 shakes no shakes let's do the best leave it's we possibly can yo starfish welcome in star star bunkle welcome in y'all how are you how have you been how was life tell us everything zach i don't have much to report on mostly just kind of hung out over the past few days breezy floof jr professor welcome in everyone um it was redeemed yes 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 cheers 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 layla cheers layla see that little boop boop we probably don't want that on her nose oh but it was good it, it just pretty much took like two weeks off to just kind of relax do i did like 50 job applications did a ton of job applications um did a couple interviews which was pretty nerve-wracking haven't had like interviews in a long time um but mostly just kind of relaxed and, and hung out so really excited to be streaming again really excited to be you know hopefully doing some dead by daylight again maybe some podcasts in there yo epic 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 cthulhu how you doing yes dbd time see epic she's already pro just subscribed thank you for the support yo epic thank you so much for the prime subbing my friend how have you been starbuncle how have you been fortune how have you been breezy floof jr Aramy, professor how have you all been how's everyone doing how's everyone been the past few weeks what's what's been new with everyone what's been new with you layla She's still professional, leave it her. Get it. Ooh, did you get it? Did you get it? She did get it. Okay, okay. Thought she dropped that for a second. All right, Boogeyman, you leave it. Yo, Dak, welcome in. Did the thing change the name? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I see the name change. How have you been, Dak? Happy belated, yes, DJ. Yes, it is your birthday. I'll totally jam some birthday vibes for you here in a second. All right, Boogeyman. He's really, he's, they're all doing pretty good at the leave it. I'm a little surprised. I was kind of expecting them to be a little bit more, maybe not as leave it -y. They're still professional leave iters. All right. Get it. Good boy. All right. And Ellie. And Ellie. Ellie leave it, maybe? No. Ellie catches? Get it. Okay. That'll work. Munch, munch. Wait, what? getting married yo professor that is super mega hype holy crap huge 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 congratulations there that is like mega hype do you have a specific day yet how did you, how did you propose how did the proposal go how i i got so many questions that is really really exciting do you have a specific date out of curiosity hold on i'll grab my ukulele man birthday hype and wedding hype and puppy hype and friend hype this is i'm just not even prepared for this amount of hype today i didn't see your new guitar oh my god zach i'm so jealous dude i haven't i haven't gotten a new guitar in forever when i saw that i'm like yes if if i come over can we like can we jam on it been super nice play sounds beautiful just love it all around started to learn skills cleaned up my electric guitar gonna be shredding before you know it let's freaking go been diving deep into music and music theory lately yeah music theory is dude i'm super hyped man we got to do some like some joint jams and i'll bring the ukulele you got the guitar zach guitar stream went actually i think you did do a guitar stream like a week ago right I randomly like got on Twitch and was like looking up all my friends and I'm like, wait, Zach was streaming like yesterday. Uh, it's been good to not really be on, on Twitch at all. Um, to kind of take time off of it and everything. But like, I've, I've definitely missed chatting with all of you all so much, honestly. Tonight just got better. Welcome back. Yo, casual. Welcome. Welcome. My friend. How have you been? How are you doing today? Casual. 
when I come back or if I hope I mean if you of course if you want to like if there's anything I've learned from taking some time off honestly it's just like if you want to stream you kind of have to have that like you have to have that reason deep within you you know and you just gotta you just gotta have fun with it right but everybody if y'all could do me a big solid we have a legend in chat and it is was her birthday a few days ago so raise your ukuleles high raise your coffees high raise your drinks high to legendary dj anime 2016 happy belated but happy birthday nonetheless happy epic epic birthday my friend all right y'all let's jam to some happy birthday love yo johnny's box welcome in how y'all doing to DJ to you DJ to you DJ to DJ anime 2016 happy birthday dj <laughs> happy birthday what'd you do for your birthday out of curiosity time for the oh god dad just throwing dad jokes at me right away deck i see how it is okay we'll do some we'll do some dad jokes but you gotta help me rate them okay if they're terrible deck you gotta let me know okay um yo and the biggest of cheers always epic thank you all thank you all for the love thank you all just for for being fantastically awesome magnificent stellar sauce friends i i appreciate y'all just for the love and the good vibes and just for being awesome thank you all so much oh 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 are we on the wrong are we on the wrong way over here hold on let's flip it this way let's go let's be over here that makes it a little easier to to read i think okay y'all gotta help me rate these if they're terrible let me know yo gojira welcome and how you doing gojira okay this is really how we're starting okay um i don't know if i'm quite let, let's let's change let's try a different joke anyways how do you make a hanky dance you put a little boogie in it boogie boogie i have a puppy dog named boogie second one i don't know was Bo i feel like we've all heard the boogie one before right i don't know boogie one's kind of like a I've, I've heard it a lot of times before uh why was the broom late for the meeting he overswept <laughs> i've been oversleeping this past few days honestly I actually a couple days ago i slept for like 11 hours or something and was just so exhausted afterwards have any of you ever done that where you like sleep too much and you wake up exhausted in a way or groggy Killer Draco Dude, just what subscribed thank you for the Killer support kill Welcome a draco there. in the house have an eight month sub dude thank you so much for the eight month sub killer draco how are you doing today my man and been eight months holy crap dude how was beating the Sekiro gauntlet the other day for anybody that doesn't know killer draco slayed through through Sekiro in like a time span i can't even like comprehend dude how what was it four streams was it five, four or five streams to like fully go through Sekiro? You like destroyed it. Um, no, 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 no date yet. Proposed a few days ago. I've been dating Flora for about two months. Re yes, I do remember that. Oh my God, yes. She decided to move to America. Been dating ever since she got here. It's kind of fast, but I've never met anyone who's made me feel this way. Oh my God, dude, that is... Professor, oh my God. That is super damn exciting. Huge mega ultra. I, I wish I could throw my coffee at my camera in the best way that is super damn exciting oh my god holy crap that's just true love is still out there my friends don't give up everybody true love is still out there why does superman get invited to dinners because he is superhero okay i think this is the universe telling me that that should be our last dad joke for the moment <laughs> oh my god but that is so damn exciting oh my god true love is beautiful 
six out of ten doing pretty good 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 to watch my money issues at the moment can oh gojira you never ever ever have to apologize for not subbing or, or or missing a stream or anything like that you all absolutely know that just you being here just being able to chat with you again makes me i'm i'm like over the moon excited to be here with everybody yo straw hat in the house welcome in how you doing today hold on i feel like the music is really quiet is that just me or is it just my headphones maybe it's just the song i feel like the music's a little bit on the on the quiet side i'm just gonna bump it up a bit uh i've been listening to game chops lo-fi recently a lot it's like a video game music that's turned into lo-fi that's actually pretty damn stellar has anybody listened to any of this before yeah this one's like zelda and chill actually pretty damn phenomenal but yeah game chops has like super mario music and like pokemon music and they're all just pretty much turned into lo-fi and it's it's pretty damn stellar honestly music scene alone with the starting soon was on yeah i was i was kind of noticing that bumped it up a little bit so zelda and chill king freak and chill oh my god is that king 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 how you doing king welcome into the mightiest of legends how you doing today dude and it's stream safe according to so i've had a couple friends that have listened to game chops um my my friend uh happy pigs got me got me into him but it says safe for use on twitch and youtube so i'm hoping so no i mean i love i love stream beats and everything i've just i've just I've listened to the same stream beats music like 10 gajillion times over. Actually, yo, actually, there is a new Christmas stream beats album. Should we listen to that? I think Harris released like a brand new uh, Christmas album, right? Should we listen to some like Christmas lo-fi? Should we do that to ourselves? I don't know. What do y'all think about that? Good morning, yo, Crimin. Good, good day. How you doing today, Crimin? been using blank lately lots of hard rock and metal blank oh maybe was it a link johnny's box oh sometimes they're not they don't like the links um league of legends just released another stream safe album as well diana sesh league of legends like the video game league of legends yo Climbing lost pixel plays subscribed. thank oh, you for this Crimin. Support. dude Crimin, thank you so much for the epic sub my friend two tap troop in the house crimin with the mighty sub lost pixels popping in how y'all doing my friends we're debating if we should uh oh my goodness jen hey thank you so much jen oh my goodness thank you very much thank you super super much jen i massively appreciate it how is everyone doing though crimin and pixels and jen and gojira i think this part was missed but yeah I have a pc broken down two weeks ago oh no got a new pc using obs studio for streaming it's so different but i'm enjoying it obs studio yeah um were you using Streamlabs before gojira or are you using twitch studio yo epic thank you so much my friend koi welcome in koi how you doing today koi hype what you talking about fortune oh my god thank you so much for the biddy love you magnificent beautiful legends fortune underscore cookie cheered 100 bits. thank you all so much thank for the love much. how's everyone doing though this is it's all about all of you how's everyone here everyone doing just split the audio so music doesn't go to vods listen to whatever i want on stream my buddy zach's been kind of uh he's been nudging me that i should i should do something like that so it was great to see you smiling and back into doing what you do. I love the same vibe, but last I gotta go do adult things. I totally get you, Deck. Thank you so much for popping in and giving the epic dad jokes and just giving all the love. I hope you have a great rest of your day, my friend. Question, y'all. Should we should we listen to the new Stream Beats Christmas album? Should we do that to ourselves? I don't know. I'm not like the biggest Christmas music fan, but I really do love Stream Beats. I'm a big fan of, of the music should we do it christmas music i mean if there's ever a time to do christmas music right if there ever is a time let's just see what it's about oh this is like so christmasy <laughs> i mean i got the tree behind me to celebrate so didn't sound as festive to me have you already listened to this album fortune 
I think it's time. Yo, lady in the house. How you doing, lady? Send you the biggest of hugs. Thank you so much for the biggest of hugs. I'm sending you the biggest of hugs back and Christmas trees and eggnog and cinnamon. And actually, wifey wants to do a co-op stream soon. She wants to build a gingerbread house together. What do y'all think about that? You think that'd be a fun idea to have wifey on stream and do like a you know maybe build like a christmas or not a christmas tree but she wants to do like a gingerbread house like build it on stream i'm like that could be pretty fun yo zaf epic how you doing dude I, I have i was like i don't know if mrs claus would be twerking while helping mr claus maybe i feel like that's that's like our generation of uh <laughs> that's like our generation of santa claus and all that right just everyone twerking together Remo bit donation. Wait, wait, wait. What did I miss? What did I miss? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Epic. What did I miss? I'm moving up. I'm moving up. Hold on. Where are we at? Remember when I told you I was going on a date? Guess who's watching this from their girlfriend's place? Yo. Hi, Epic. Hi, Epic girlfriend. Hi. Yo, look at you go. Look at you go, Epic. Let's freaking go. It's pretty exciting. Are you guys doing any any fun date later on like are you guys like going to a movie or i don't know i haven't been to a movie in a long time we did go to a sit down restaurant for the first time in a long time like a week ago when it was actually pretty 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 great <laughs> i would watch gingerbread house building it could be fun honestly she wants to, she she wrote down like a ton of fun ideas for streams so um that'd be pretty cool Forgot to tell you, I may or may not have started a challenge run. Ooh, which one did you do, Fortune? Yeah, you were playing. You you were playing Doom Eternal a few days ago, right? Right? What kind of got you in the interest to want to play Doom Eternal? Out of curiosity, what did you think about it? How far did you get into it? Which one was it this time? We're gonna go out for dinner later. It's been it's happy lately, but it's been great. Yo, epic and epic girlfriend. You both are absolutely epic. I hope you both give epic love to each other and. Just stay epic, honestly. <laughs> but seriously, that is really, really, really cool. The, those first, uh, you know, the first little bit of when you start dating someone, it's there's a lot of uh, good butterflies there. So absolutely enjoy it. Get all the love, get all the, the dates and the good vibes and everything, and just stay safe. Ooh, wait, blood level four? You're doing a blood level four bloodborne run? It just, uh, just because or like any reason out of curiosity? I have no idea it was chaotic for oh yeah yeah that doom eternal is so fast paced and so intense it's it's it takes yeah it's a lot it's a lot just kind of bombarding your senses yo thank you all so much for the epic hype trade my friends i massively appreciate it i speed run hollow knight yo hollow knight how did you like go through all of it Oh my God, Cribbin. <laughs> okay, okay. What should we jam to on the ukulele? Besides happy birthday jams. Well, now I have a channel point for it for four streams. I'll play blood level for Bloodborne. How far have you got on it? How many streams have you done? Do you think you could beat the whole game in, in four runs? I bet you could. I bet you could, yeah. Epic can pick the song. Maybe we should do... Uh can you feel the love to not no i wouldn't do that to you epic <laughs> okay what you, what you feeling epic and enter sandman <laughs> totally opposite i mean but i guess that's pretty badass too <laughs> um did any percent is easier than I thought, but still quite challenging. Yo, Hollow Knight is such a challenging game, honestly. I personally think Hollow Knight is like more difficult of a game than like any of the Souls games I've played. Enter Sandman. I think like that. Say your prayers, little one. Don't forget my son to include anyone. I don't know like any other lyrics. <laughs> Sleep with one eye open. Ripping your pillow tight. Hey, 
makes it light I'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. <laughs> that was probably terrible, but you know, it's what friends are for, right? <laughs> Yo, Star, welcome in. How you doing, Star the Legend? Yo, Star, cheers of the mightiest to you. Good, good coffee vibes for good coffee friends. Oh, how are you doing today, Star? Going from like Enter Sandman ukulele back to like Christmas jams. What a vibe. Yo, Legend Loaf, welcome in. Can I get an ooh woo? You can get an ooh woo. Trying to blood level four, soul level one, and tell me that's not difficult. Do you think you can do it in like four four streams though, Fortune? I bet you totally could. Thunderstruck solo, do it. I don't know if I know the Thunderstruck solo. I know the the little tapping part though, like the intro. Thunderstruck is a banger of a song. ACDC and just all of that's all good vibes. I'm gonna be honest with everybody. I kind of have absolutely no idea what to do for the stream today. I'm pretty bad. I don't usually I recommend, you know, whenever I talk to people, like it's a good idea if you go live when streaming to kind of have an idea of what to do. And I totally did not follow that advice at all today. So I have no idea. Pretty much thought we just do, you know, maybe a shorter stream of just chatting and just vibing and hanging out with little ellie who's snoozing over there oh do you see her look at her look look at her like knocked out over there on the pillow hi ellie hi she's pretty cute just chatting all day long zach knows it 24 hour just chatting stream incoming hollow night hollow night could be fun um just visit and say hi how was the puppos puppos are going good layla's just snooze you want to come say hi come here come say hi Hi friends. Yeah. She's doing pretty good. She's doing adorable. Mwah. Love you bunches. No, not in four streams. No, I can level up my weapon, but staying base level is rough. Two strikes and I'm dead. Right. You're kind of going in like glass cannon, right? Yeah, I don't I don't know if I could do a blood level four run. I bet if you like just really start to learn the movesets of the bosses, though, it, I bet you can do it. For sure, Fortune. If there's anybody that could do it you and killer draco absolutely you have my vote hi hi papo she's like stop touching my paws okay fine anyone else cried over the lack of silk i know right like didn't they announce it when did they announce silk song like two years ago nodders nodders and just subscribed thank you for the support almost Nodders. a year of moves Yo, Moofies, thank you so much for the 11-month sub. Big nodders and big huggers to you, legend. Yo, Clumsy, welcome in. How you doing today, Clumsy? Welcome in, everyone. How you all doing? Nodders, can we get some nodders in chat for Moofs and Clumsy? <laughs> Moofs! It's the only way to say it, Fortune. All the love. Just babysat my pug and pug sleepover in my bed. Ooh, puppy sleeping. Oh, troop, my dude. It's good to have you back, Seth. Hope you want to do Troop. It is a pleasure to talk to your beautiful face. I have missed you, Troop. I hope you've been well, man. I hope you've been streaming well. I hope you've been kicking ass. What game are you playing right now, Troop? Out of curiosity, are you still playing? Uh, I think like Resident Evil was the last one I I remember you playing. What have, what has everybody been playing lately? Clumsy, what have you been playing? Johnny's box, friend moves. Everybody, what you all been playing lately? I honestly. I really haven't been like playing any games, like any games, like whatsoever this past like two weeks off, which is good because I've like been doing other things, you know, a lot of job applications, some interviews, played a lot of music. I've been playing a lot of, a lot of music, been playing piano. I'm going to, I'm going to get, I'm going to get my keyboard set up and we're going to do some piano streams again. And I'm not just saying that I want to, I want to do some more music streams. Persona 5 Royale. Hell yeah. Good to see you, Zeph. Lots of love and all the big hugs. All the big hugs to you. A thousand percent clumsy. Ori and Witcher. Yeah, I know you. I know you enjoy Witcher. 
Actually, we wifey and I just watched uh, the Witcher TV series. Has have you seen it at all, Clumsy? Has anybody seen the Witcher TV series? I think the season two is coming out this Friday, and uh, it was pretty poggies. Speaking of insane poggies, oh my god, dude! Was 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 the highlight of Twitch. I'm hyped. I'm mega hyped. My my entire everything that I wanted out of today's stream has now been completed. I get legendary Wazzy. Get over here and give me a hug, dude. Oh my god, Waz. <laughs> dude. Dude, Wazzy. Hold on, everybody. Wait, Wazzy I got something for you. Subscribed. Thank you for the support. Dude, Waz. Hey there, cutie. Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, y'all. Let's make sure this works. Go like, go follow what's it say. You need what's it say. Go follow what's it say. There you go. Go like, go follow what's it say. Just listen you to this dude say. in this clip go right here. What's it say. Everybody. Go like, go follow what's it say. You need what's it say. Go follow what's it say. It's true. Go like, it's go true. Follow what's it say. Everybody. It right say. now. Go right the second. What's it say. Go like, go follow. <laughs> dude, how was your stream, Wazzy? What were you playing, man? You were, pl wait, wait, you were playing. What were you playing? Wait, what What were you playing? Alien Isolation, dude, that sounds terrifying. What a game to play during like the holiday season. <laughs> Big ass remix. Dude, how is your stream, Wazzy? Thank you so much for the epic, epic raid. My God, it is like, I'm so excited to see you, dude. How How have you been, Wazzy? How was your stream? How was your week? How have you been? Wazzy in the house. Let me scroll up, make sure I didn't miss, miss anything. I'm gonna, I'm trying to be a lot better about not missing any chat messages. <gasps> I got sick as hell last week. Finally, most better. Got pulled into Dark Souls 1 right now, dude. What uh, What was your last boss on Dark Souls 1, True. What are you thinking about it? You know, having played through all of them, I kind of feel like Dark Souls 1 might be my favorite. I like the third one a lot, but like, I feel like I really, really, really like Dark Souls 1 a lot. A Link to the Past, OG 90s. Yo, dude, how are you enjoying 96? Y'all are playing like such good games. How are you enjoying OG Tomb Raider out of curiosity, Killer Draco? A wallet, Mr. Hey, oh, King, did you see me playing? I might have been playing Halo a little bit. Has anybody else been playing Halo Infinite over the weekend? Did, I did play Dark Souls as well. There's a story behind that. I've been playing Hollow Knight and Blasphemous. Ooh, Blasphemous. I've heard really good things about Blasphemous. Finish Yakuza, not starting five until uni work clears up. So I'm playing Hollow Knight again. I love how everybody's playing Hollow Knight. Like Hollow Knight is like such a good game. Every single person here should, should, should totally play Hollow Knight if you get a chance to. It's absolutely amazing. Going in with a Knight's build, yo. And at... Uh, and Animal Crossing. I love I love that there's so many people out there that can like play Dark Souls and then turn right around and play like Stardew Valley or play like <laughs> Animal Crossing or something. I'm playing Destiny as always. Hey, do have you been playing the new Halo Infinite Johnny's box? Did you hear Final Fantasy VII remake? I know, I know it's it's coming to PC, but it's going to Epic, which like I guess some people don't really like Epic, so I don't know. Yo, the Rage Gauge in the house. How you doing today? Look like Bray White. I don't know who that is. I like your name though. Rage Gage. You know, got, got to get some of that low tone in there. Welcome in Rage Gage. How you doing today? <laughs> Been chilling on farming. Ooh, farming sim. Been playing Halo. I've, I've played a little bit of it. I've only played like the multiplayer. I didn't get the campaign, but I did just get this. I did just get like a Halo or not a Halo, an Xbox controller. To play PC games on, and it came with Game Pass for like a free month or something of it. So I might use it and, and try Halo Infinite. I'm a big fan of the Halo games, so that was the only reason I bought an Xbox. The Halo control, Halo controller, right? Dude, I, like a Green Master Chief one would actually be badass. Actually, I think when Halo 5 came out, I think they had one like that. It was pretty badass. More people I follow are starting Hollow Knight. I'm so happy. It's my favorite game. Hollow Knight is so good. It really is. I cannot wait for Silk Song. I want to, I really want to beat Hollow Knight before Silk Song comes out. Y'all should totally play Hollow Knight. It's fantastic. Um, we're running through a legendary playthrough of the Halo campaign. I'm absolutely loving the multiplayer. What are your thoughts? Does anybody have any feelings about the Halo Infinite campaign? I've heard a lot of people aren't super duper crazy about it. And people weren't really crazy about Guardians campaign either. I really did not like the Guardians campaign. I only played it one time, but it didn't really click for me. 
I've not really, really not been enjoying Tomb Raider. The game is so clunky. It makes Dark Souls 1 look smooth as butter. It's a product of its age compared to other games that came out in 96. Interesting. Ooh, excuse me. Very interesting. I wonder how more and more if that's going to be a thing like newer people going back and playing older games are going to are going to really start to realize, you know, I wonder if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's almost like modern day games have gotten so good control wise. It almost it almost kind of kills older games in a way, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing, but no, I totally get that. Like I've, I've talked to a lot of people who like go back and play like Final Fantasy seven, the original and they just say like it's so hard getting past the, the the graphics in it and i'm like i totally get it like it looks <laughs> i get it i get it it's very clunky and old you know infinite is infinitely better than four and five really i i didn't mind four too much i thought four was pretty fun but story wise level wise i can't really i can't really recall like a particular level from from four you know aside from maybe the last one actually won a halo 60 wait what wait johnny's box you won a halo 6900 x like the amd gpu dude how did you do that please tell me more that sounds insane people who play dark souls then turn around and play stardew it's okay Zeph, you can say it's me no that's that's everybody like that's so many people i talk to are like that right right like they'll they'll play a really hard game you know like like wazi you know play alien isolation one day and then turn around and play like minecraft the next day or you know play like destiny or something i think it's really good to have just a wide a wide taste palette in games life would be boring if you're just i don't know you know just playing one particular game all the time right come to different streamers channels they say my name like they've been to my channel i i, I dig the name rage gauge i think it's pretty dope think how it depends on a lot of the games still play well like most Mario games have this yeah I mean Mario is just kind of one of those classic games like it's people gonna be playing you know people gonna be playing Mario for a hundred years I swear <laughs> oh Brad Bra or Bray White is wrestler gotcha gotcha got the AMD GPU from commenting on a post from Razer on Insta dude that is insane are you gonna keep it are you gonna sell it I mean that's kind of like 6900 i don't i'm not as familiar with the amd gpus but that's like that's like the 3090 of the the amd gpus right yo paul my dude welcome in paul how are you doing man how have you been how are you my friend how are you doing today paul the rage gauge yeah i'm also like wazi you have to exactly you have to be versatile you have to have you have to have different palette for different games right fortune you get more than a cheers you get an epic hug get over here fortune give me a big old hug oh my goodness mario 64's camera who's kind of eh though i've never played mario 64. i kind of that would be a fun game to play but i've never played mario 64. i mean i've played like five minutes of it but haven't like really played it mario world is so good mario world super mario world on the super nintendo is the best mario game of all time I'm just I'm just going out there in the universe and saying it. Super Mario World, Super Nintendo, best Super Mario game of all time. Maybe even like top five best games of all time. Um, did an unboxing video. We're gonna sell it to fund more content since you're going for outrageous amounts of money on eBay. Yeah, dude. GPU, just like my GPU that's in my PC, it, it's like. 80 percent the cost of my entire pc when i bought it like the prices for gpus are just they're not even over the moon they're like past over the moon they're insane zephy hugs are good you get a big old zephy hug zacky dude how is work going today man have you been over your past week do you have when is next zacky stream out of curiosity do you already do you have a date for it or just kind of taking it you know day by day week by week see a lot of people with that opinion actually all the hugs about a month ago to san jose genesis 8 just dropped the trailer last night it got me so excited oh for the convention fortune kyle's going too right watching the stream at work yo i'm down i'm down rage gauge hi friends at work zaki stream i know zaki stream one zaki stream one mario world is supposed to be a top tier mario game it's so good honestly it's it's just one of those games that is so easy to just repeat play you know it really really is 
is that is that is that carrion carrion is that carrion hi carrion hi carrion how you doing carrion okay Uh, there is Mario game on there. Checked out the top 15 games of all time as per Golden Joystick a few weeks ago. Um, oh, what were the top 15 out of curiosity? Should really try out 64. Aside from the camera, in my opinion, it still holds up really well. Games that just can still hold up after decades. I feel like that just goes to show they're they're in that like timeless category, you know? Like if you can make a game or a piece of art or a movie and it just can hold up through the test of time you can be watching that same movie 50 years in the future and it's still fantastic you know like like star wars or alien or blade runner or godfather you know just these epic epic timeless movies and stuff it's just such a you know just goes to show how well it was created carrion how have you been my friend how are you how have you been? Spill the beans. What's new with you, Ka Carrion? Yeets Zach. <laughs> Poor Zach. Zach, we're friends, dude. No yeeting of Zach here. Zach is front row seats. Remember, I got, got the question you asked earlier for what games have been playing at the moment. Starting a new run of Dark Souls as a night build. Yeah, to try to get them done before Elden Ring comes out. Was playing Animal Crossing as well. I've been playing Pokemon. Ooh, off which Pokemon out of curiosity? One of the new ones, Gojira? Mario 64 is still great. People straight through it when Mario 3DS All-Star released. Took nine and a half hours. See, the thing with Mario 64 and kind of like... I mean, Ocarina of Time is kind of in that vein. Hold on. I'm going to turn my lights down a little bit. I feel like I'm really bright. Mm. I feel like I'm a little yellow. Maybe. We'll go back over here. Mm. Let's go up here. I guess that's okay. I feel pretty bright today. Very, very light. Okay. Mm, we'll do, we'll do that. That's okay. But Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time, every time I'd go on, on Twitch stream, or, or I'd go on like to check them out on Twitch, everybody's always speed running them. Like I don't really see people playing Ocarina of Time or Mario 64, like a first time playthrough. Like everybody's always speed running it. <laughs> Dark Souls, Winter, Doom, ooh, Doom, Breath of the Wild, ooh, Breath of the Wild, yeah, Half-Life 2, I've never played Half-Life 2, never played Minecraft, never played Street Fighter, never, well, I, I've played Tetris for sure, Last of Us Amazing, haven't played Super Mario 64, haven't played Metal Gear Solid, I have played Halo, have played Mario, I've played, I have not played Grand Theft Auto 5, imagine having to pick a best Grand Theft Auto game from the past 20 years i feel like every time grand theft auto comes out it's like game of the year automatically I'm tired my gym trainer might be killing me slowly you might get this question a lot today so feel free to have an abridged version but how are you Zav? i'm doing absolutely fantastic harry and i have missed chatting with you and chatting with everybody and i feel i feel very alive it's i it was really good to take time off of twitch and kind of do you know maybe focus on other things that i wasn't quite giving all as much attention to as i should have um but it's really it's fun to be back you know it's fun to be able to chat with people and catch up and and i i've missed this i've missed this whole dance you know i missed you carrion i missed all of you thank you all for being here and just for being so lovely i think you look beautiful <laughs> I only slow slow run games i'm the same i like slow run games i'm much more of a a slow runner for sure was playing the remake for the stream but i got a lot of negative people comments so i play it people giving you negative comments like on stream gojira why yo is that dark phoenix in the house dp welcome in you magnificent legend how are you doing today my favorite streaming jesus do it <laughs> i had to put my hair up today so so no jesus hair at the moment <laughs> to answer question yes Kyle will be competing and melee let's freaking go is he gonna Dark be streaming Phoenix it? Can he stream it? Just subscribed. Yo, Thank you for what? the support. Oh, DP. Wait, 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 that's a special one. Nine months of Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix. That means we got a Twitch baby together. So, Dark Phoenix. What is our Twitch baby's name? <laughs> Zephyr Phoenix 69? Maybe. Maybe. Dark Phoenix XP, maybe. 
<laughs> Nine months of DP. I know. The ultimate game of all time. Dark Souls won it all. That's wild. Thank you for being you, damn it, Breezy. Thank you for being you, for being you, for being you. You awesome sauce, Breezy. <laughs> that is wild, though, that Dark Souls won, like, out of all of them. I mean, Dark Souls is amazing. I guess I, when you have all those games, it's kind of impossible to pick, like, best game of all time, right? Just because, like, they're all so they're all so influential there really is not a best game of all time or best anything it's just all all opinions right i'm on my first run of dark souls why is blight town a place i omg i near cried yeah dude you've been like grinding through them what you did bloodborne you've done you've done dark souls 3 right paul you done demon souls you cruise through demon souls so fast man do you have a particular favorite so far any particular one of the souls games has like really been standing out to you they're all so different but they're all so similar kind of in their own way right that sounds bad <laughs> basically like being negative about the remakes like why you play this game the art style sucks oh don't listen to people like that at all like it's if you're streaming it's your stream don't ever let people come in and just talk down on that at all whatsoever if, if you're playing a game that you're really enjoying and people just come in and start like why are you playing this like why are you here <laughs> right so you just be you gojira regardless what the, what other people come in and say just just be you a thousand percent you know the ultimate game sticker in ds1 ds3 but not on ds2 if y'all check on stream i'll leave that for you zeph i like i like dark what dark zephyr 69. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. I like that, DP. <laughs> oh, it's not on uh, Dark Souls 3, my bad. Yeah, Dark Souls is not flawless, but it's a very influential game. Especially, like, the past... I would say Dark Souls is probably the most influential game, or, like, one of, especially over this past 10 years. You know, it's had a huge impact on just games and, like, difficulty in games and just yeah the whole souls like genre right um i think it's broke the mold like hard body everyone and their mother wants to create a that is very true everybody kind of wants to get that souls kind of vibe right like neo and jedi i want to play jedi fallen order honestly that's a big one i'm really really excited to, to at least give a shot i don't think you will stream a gen 8 made the hard decision regarding COVID. it requires all attendees to be vaccinated show proof We'll all have to wear a mask so I can imagine there'll be a little social. Gotcha, gotcha, but not upset by this. I'm excited for the two. You guys should do like an IRL stream, though. The two of you, like maybe on your phone or something. Yo, is that Kyokole in the house? How are you doing? It's good to see you. It is so amazing to see you. Kyo, how have you been? Kyo, everybody. Okay, I'm going to tell you something that is just like crazy ass sauce. Kyokole doing an absolutely fantastic charity stream the other day guess who dropped into kyokale stream and dropped a one hundred thousand dollar donation <laughs> freaking jack septic guy dropped into kyo stream like two or three days ago and dropped a one hundred thousand dollar donation to Kyo's charity stream. It was like, <laughs> it, yeah, that is like, that's insane. Like just even saying that out loud. I'm so, I, I absolutely bet. It's my favorite YouTuber. I was so happy and overwhelmed. I bet he was making like a video, you know, a lot of those streamers, they'll, they'll like the Mr. Beast and the Jacksepticeyes or Ludwig, they'll be like pop into a streamer and drop thousand or ten thousand or some crazy number donation and and then they'll have like a youtube video for it that's insane though i mean that's like of course any amount is amazing for a charity stream for a cause and stuff like that i mean but like a hundred thousand dollars you was streaming all oh, for the same charity maybe like streaming him donating that is that's crazy insane i mean what your your face during that moment you're just like um um excuse me um excuse me excuse me it was wild y'all kyo do you have like a clip of it of that like particular moment what charity was was it for it was for um thank miss right thank miss 
he dropped into about seven streams and dropped a hundred k on all of them oh my god what would you even I, I you reacted pr way better than i probably would i would just be like what the fuck is this <laughs> oh my god imagine if jack tamed kiosk gave her one of those big checks you see on tv that would be ins right <clears throat> don't watch him regularly but he's pretty awesome guy from what i've seen yeah he's a he's got he's got a pretty pretty cool personality you know the he's like in the leagues of the pewdiepies and the the mr beasts and stuff so it's it's pretty pretty damn amazing and and for such an amazing cause too like that it was just amazing to see it was really really cool um i'll repeat this since fast chat is my, oh i'm sorry thing is problem is pokemon is my baby learn american sign language the time when it came to america it's like insulting yeah gojira don't worry about what people if people pop into your stream and just say crap like that you just play whatever you want to play you do whatever you want to do you stream how you want to stream you make content how you want to make it and people will either love it or not and you know as long as you're happy with it that's all that matters really yes should i send it if you yeah totally if you want to like post it we could like totally check it out if you have the clip for it Ooh. <clears throat> whoa um is oh is this it oh jack's up oh it's hold on it's like i think it's like flipped over here do you have do you have oh let's see the clip for it um let's see is there a way to like flip it around out of curiosity because at least on my side hi kyo kind of flipped over we were seeing during break time. Or my crit. I don't I don't know if I can see a way to flip it. Oh, hi. Well, everyone just turn your heads. This is better. Hi, Jack. Hi, Kyo. How y'all doing? Oh, to Gab. Yeah, yeah. I follow uh Gab on uh on Twitch and, and Twitter. She's a great content creator too. Hold on, let's see if we can bump that up. Wait, do do they have a goal as well? Y'all check this out. Just Kyo kind of really drawing, minding her business, Is just vibing. From memory? I could never. <laughs> I wonder how many people were watching him. What do you think? Like 50,000 or something? That's just wild to think that really like that could happen. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, we, oh, we got to mess up Holy crap. Draw. Okay. We got to like um, completely distract it with a donation. <laughs> Yeah, I love his accent. I think he's, he's uh, Irish, hello, right? Cody and Markle the Walker. Thank you so much for the uh, what? Oh. Yo, uh, All right. You don't want to talk about titty? You're yeah? freaking alert, yo. <laughs> <laughs> You're alert. Yo. That... <laughs> you want to talk about titties? My god. Talk about titties. I don't know what's titties? happening. Uh that's wild <laughs> hi welcome in everybody oh yeah and you see like himself. a lot of other people kind of uh, dropping in as well did you see that <laughs> did i miss it hold on the one hundred thousand, or was it like right back oh i think it's buffering why you got a buffer why you got a buffer hold on is it working is she drawing that from memory yeah, he just drops like a whole hundred K. Just absolutely wild. Really focusing. <laughs> really, shit. really wild. You liked my alert? You can see it okay, in the top we, left we corner. Yeah, like right up here. Okay. We gotta like uh, completely distract. That's with just a that's just like a whole yeah, crazy okay. story, Kyo. Got... That's just wild. I'm so happy for you when I saw that on Twitter. I was like, oh my god. That's amazing. That's amazing. What was the total amount? Are you you're still you're, uh, you, I think you said your donation link was still live, right? Highlighted my career for sure. <laughs> or no, 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 no. You still got, you still got so much left to live. You know, that is, that was amazing. That was absolutely crazy. What was the total that you ended at with a hundred and like hundred and one or 101,436 so far. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. I mean, even without that, like crazy hundred thousand, like $1,436 is still, that's still mind blowing. 
that's an insane that's that's mega boggy woggies remember correctly jack from twitter said they raised over 7 million so far for thankmas really i wonder just how i would just wonder how all of that kind of came to be i wonder if he's like an ambassador for that particular charity but yeah that's uh that's really cool i i would love to do a, a charity stream something like that i'm planning on hopefully hopefully doing one like towards the end of this month so 10 million is the goal what happens when you when he hits the goal is there like a particular event planned or was it just the number they they wanted to guys for such great work that yeah that is Gyokale absolutely crushing it for sure what's the charity for out of curiosity oh he created it really really jack septicai created thank miss that's what that's the one it's called right thank miss oh probably should turn my keyboard on thank miss charity i think um interesting yeah the number one charity fundraising platform for oh that's tilt five my bad thank miss is the thing he does every year the end of the month is near week and a half till christmas like two weeks until new york sees i know i know i'm so excited for january 1st fortune because i am going to shave i have not shaved a single time this entire year this is like a full year of of growing my beard and i just i'm, I'm counting down the days i cannot wait to shave <laughs> what a thing to be excited for at the end of the year right um yo tom welcome is tom how you doing it's been a while how are you doing i'm doing i'm doing absolutely fantastic sauce i'm super super we're just chatting about charities and thank miss and the chin strap yeah it's gotta all go it's gotta all go yo millie welcome in millie the beard looking sick i you know i here's the thing when it comes to facial hair golly is that golly yo golly in the house my dude how you doing golly see i i feel like the look of the beard i like it because it's kind of like a little bit slimming in the cheeks you know <laughs> i kind of like dig the style of it but like the feel of it i'm just I, I don't i don't i'm not super crazy about the feel of it you know so wifey does say it, it hides my double chin though so uh she's very brutal brutally honest about that so i don't know i'm with you zaf king my brother you feel my pain but you know i mean some people are like crazy they like grow their beards for years down their chest you know and i'm just like i i maybe one one maybe eventually i can get there but like i don't know when i can get to the point where i can grab it i feel like that's too long you know uh if you shave your beard might ask a favor i will twitch divorce you what okay what's the favor fortune as long as you don't twitch divorce me <laughs> clip is pretty cool just watched it all yo kyokale that should uh you should you should like TikTok that or insta it or just kind of throw it out there and tag jack septicai with it can't imagine what it feels like to have a beard go on full viking yeah some viking metal hell yeah i mean that was kind of my plan honestly was like I always wanted to grow a beard. I always wanted to grow really long hair. But when I started doing both, I'm like, wow, beards are annoying to have. <laughs> and having long hair is annoying. So I don't know, you know, people that have long hair. Oh, it just, I, I it drives me bonkers. It drives me crazy. Cause it like always is getting in my face whenever it's not in a bun or in a pony or whatever. It's like always just little strands will like touch my nose. And I'm just like, ah, like, get out of my freaking face i hate <laughs> I, I i don't want to say i hate but like having long hair is a vibe you know having long hair is definitely a vibe <laughs> zeph will be merlin level in the next decade see i would be down for that you know go full gandalf i get the robes got the got the wand for it or not the wand the staff i want to be gandalf the gray when i'm older not planning on go, going Gandalf. Who do you think is better though? Gandalf the gray or Gandalf the white? I feel like Gandalf the gray is. That's me. That's me when I'm a hundred years old. <laughs> Sitting on my porch in the rocking chair, smoking a pipe and not of tobacco. 
<laughs> if you shave it into a oh my god and no i'm not gonna do a handlebar stash keep the handlebar for like five stream minutes or take a picture and post it. actually i will say fortune when i have shaved in the past i usually do something like that so i'll like what did i do i i, I would shave like my sideburns and just kind of keep a goatee take a picture of it and just laugh at it then i'll like shave and just keep a mustache i don't have a i don't have a baller mustache though my mustache is it's a little weak you know i need my mustache needs to work out it's a little bit on the weak sides but so <laughs> i cut my hair because i get sick of getting into my food yeah for real just shave the chin first just just shave the chin I'll just shave it all out there we go i don't mind been playing ds3 dex faith you saw aldrich devoured my electricity kind of understand the long hair come up a plan on rock and that look i mean the look of it is pretty cool you know like i don't know i feel like as i get older i'm just like everything can be a good look right you know you can you can rock the bald look like a badass you can rock the hair down to your butt cheeks like a badass and everything in between you know you could maybe we should bring the mohawk back like whatever happened to the mohawk you know the punk mohawk right right maybe kind of get it get some gel in it to sharpen it you know kind of get the points going zef mohawk 2022 <laughs> oh my god i i don't know if i could do that 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 seems like that would be a lot of effort you know having to like spike it every day do the gel in it that sounds like a lot of effort <laughs> uh i had kyle shave his mustache on stream request him to shave it in the middle and i was laughing <laughs> as he officially shaved his mustache i think last time i saw him it was end of november and he had like a he had a mustache shave it into a goatee maybe like a, a big long one that i can braid my wife's uh dad he had something like that where he had like this just it looked like a metal band kind of look he was like had the bald head and then the really long braided goatee it was like straight out of a 90s metal band <laughs> but he rocked it looked cool want the mullet you want the mullet to make a comeback is there anybody else that's on with team king on that that wants the mullet to make a comeback i really don't know how i feel about the mullet it's 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 a it's a vibe it's to think the mullet was as popular as it was for so long because i mean you go back and people in the 60s got a mullet people in the 70s got a mullet people in the 80s are rocking it people in the 90s are rocking it i'm like oh my oh my i will say there are some mullets that are better than others though so there are some pretty like okay it kind of got some good fashion going but yo dark Venus, let me see the wonderful popos it is timeless, you think? Oh my god, Wazi. Wazi Z okay. 201 bits. Thank you very much. 23.7k left greater than less than. <laughs> greater than less than. <laughs> Just a couple, right, Waz? Thank you for the pity, love, my friend. I massively appreciate you. To the moon, Waz. Waz coin to the moon. Do y'all got your your Waz coin? Was coin going to the to the moon? I'm pretty sure I saw Elon tweet it. I actually saw today that Elon is Times Person of the Year. It is timeless. Mullets are making a comeback. All right, maybe we'll do mullet for 2022. Y'all think I could get hired for a job with a mullet if I showed up to the interview? That would be interesting. Business at the front, party in the back. Exactly, exactly. All right, Dark Phoenix, the legend. Oh, hold on. We got to go on puppy. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so we can all see pretty Layla. We should go shakies. It's been a minute, Layla. It's been a minute. Hold on. I oh, okay. She's like, I'll just bash the microphone. Okay, we'll put microphone here for a minute. Shake. Okay. She's professional shaker. Mwah. I kissed your paw. Thank you, DP. Keeping me full of the puppos. Puppo tees. Geek freak. Oh, hi, Boogie. Yes, I, I know. I'm just tightening my microphone. Hold on. He's like, human, shake my paw. Okay. Hi, hi Boogie, man. This is Snoots. There is Snoots. Hi, Snoots. Come here. Come here. Look at that. Look at that face. 
Snoots, come here. Come here. Look at him. Look at this. What? Oh, he just locked me in the face. He's like, shut up, human. Fine. You can just have it. Yeah. Mwah. Yeah. Look at all of this, Snoot. That's why we call him Snoot. Hi. Wolf. Where's Ellie? Oh, where's Ellie? He just whacked me in the face right there. Shake. All right. And little Ellie. This is Ellie. She's adorable. Don't tell the others, but she's my favorite. I want to try to keep my mic. I realized if I keep my mic down here, then it helps with uh, the focus. So I'm going to try to keep it down here a little bit. Hopefully it still sounds pretty decent. Oh, the puppers are ridiculous. I think Boogie is my favorite. Oh, uh, Boogie man. Come here. Come say hi. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Hi. Hi. Look at that snoot. Look at that face. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Is it almost Christmas time? Is it holiday season? We might have gotten him a couple presents, maybe. Yo, Captain Jazz in the house. How you doing today, Jazzy? Boogeyman, say hi, Jazzy. What do you think? What do you have to say? Give us your full spiel. What is it like to be a dog? All right. I hope you, I hope you all learn something valuable there. <laughs> He's pretty cute. I'll definitely be honest. He's pretty dumb, damn adorable. Uh, when is Wazzy? Wazzy, how old is your pupper now? Wazzy, how? Two months now? Three months? Yo, Xavier, cheers epically, my friend. I hope you've been well. Oh, I hope you've been really good, Xavier. I love all of them. See, this one though, Ellie. Ellie, I think I'd like to be a dog. Ellie, come here. Come say hi. She always hangs out with, well, sometimes she hangs out with me, sometimes she just chills on my couch over there it was three months i think it rubbed off from friction oh my god hold on let's see this fortune oh kyle oh oh he's oh uh, that's such a that's such a look you can absolutely chill on my couch wazzy all right what do you think this is like a half. <laughs> it's like shaved right in the middle. You know, what's funny is you can't even really notice it that much. If I'm being honest, you have to like, look for it. Like, obviously when you like look and see it, but like when he's smiling, it kind of comes up a little bit and hides, right? You know, it's not, it's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, it also helps being uh as handsome as Kyle is, you know, he's got that, got that Kyle charm. Like to be a dog at your place, you treat them so well. They're my best friends, honestly. They really are. We, uh, I think it's just also they're getting older and, you know, as they get older, it's like, they're not going to be around forever. They're definitely starting to chill out a lot more as they've gotten older. They're not as rambunctious and running around and all over the place. So it's just kind of that realization, like, they're getting old, you know, and they won't be around forever. So just every single day is cuddles and just, I love them and they're my best friends. They really are. It's a parks and rec reference. I think I've seen that. That's a, uh, with a uh, Zach Gal, is that Zach Galifianakis? That's what I'm thinking. Yo, starfish, the beautiful, the magnificent star in the house. What mic are you using and do you use a mixer? So I'm using the Shure SM7B with a Go XLR for the interface. Um, yeah, I think I, I think actually over like Black Friday or whatever, it was on sale. It might still be on sale. The uh, microphone, I believe. Nick Offerman, that's what I'm thinking. My boyfriend's doggo, she has mellowed out so much the last few years that she's 10. See, I, and I believe that like, just as, as they get older, they just become, I don't know, just as, as those, your fur friends get older, I don't know. They just, I feel like I connect to them more, you know, they're mellowing out and, and you just kind of want to snuggle up on them more. And I don't know. I hope somebody's like that with me when I'm older, you know, I hope I'm like 90 years old and someone's like, let's go give him some love. <laughs> he won't be around forever. Oh, this is the meme for it. I know. King, right? Oh my God, what the hell, Fortune? 
I didn't shave it off. It rubbed off. Lordy, what is that? Oh my God. Why, why you gotta be like that, Google? All right. What do y'all think about that? You think I could rock that look? You know? See, but he's got a mighty mustache. I don't think I can, I, I don't have that power of mustache, you know? He's got that like thick, thick. Yeah, like Nico. I mean, look at that mustache. Oh my God. Like his, he put all of his stats into mustache power, I swear. I don't have that mighty of a mustache. So maybe one day, I don't know though. You need to have that look before you go fully shave it. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Oh, is our Christmas tunes over? What have you all been thinking about the Christmas tunes? I feel like they haven't been terrible. I feel like I've been digging them. Sounds kind of vibing. I gotta go uh, home now so I can't stay, but hope happy you're back, dude. Have a good stream. Kyokulate, thank you so much for vibing and hanging out and being your magnificent self. And I love you to pieces. You're a legend of a friend. Thank you so much for being you, Kyo. All the big hugs and love for you always. He's trying to be Riff and Raff. Riff and Raff, one of my favorite streamers of all time. Two legends. I've seen Nick uh, off offer man without a mustache and i did not recognize him yeah i've seen pictures of him without the mustache it's wild it's crazy sauce buy me buy me buy me <laughs> kyo you are you are in buyable you are what's the term for it it in buyable unbuyable in that is invaluable is i don't know i don't know english very well invaluable i think invaluable you are invaluable your value is too too big to measure, my friend. Priceless. Priceless is a good one, too. You are priceless. Cheers to your magnificent self. Yo, I'm I'm vibing with this jam. Typing with my thumbs. Isn't it interesting, like typing with your thumbs versus like typing this way? I could type so much better with my fingers. Um, which is a big reason sometimes if there's a uh someone sends something in discord or like a message and i really want to respond like good to it sometimes i hold off on responding on my phone so i can sit down on my keyboard and uh yeah i know dude typing on phone the thing is oh don't even get me started on phones i f man i was driving the other day king and just like came to a stoplight and just looked around in the car and everyone driving next to me like all like five people in the cars next to me we're like all on their phones like this. And I'm like, oh my goodness. These things have just completely taken over our world. How do y'all feel about that with smartphones? Riff, Raff, oh, the rapper. He's basically James Franco's character in Spring Breakers. I didn't know there was a rapper called Riff Raff. <laughs> I miss physical buttons on phones, the good old days when you could like text under the table in class, you know, just kind of like feel where you're going. What is it? The the predictive text one i waggle my finger at people like that yeah what are how do you all feel about these smartphone devices that have just taken over the world honestly smartphones and i have a love mad love hate relationship i agree i used to uh i used to sell cell phones so like you'd come into the store and be like hey i have a galaxy s5 i want to get the galaxy s8 and i would be the dude that helps you or like i have an iphone 7 i want to get the iphone 10 i'd i'd be the one to help you um but like man just just seeing people from every age you know seeing like 80 year old people get upset and just like if something's wrong on their phone or having like teenagers being just like just literally like addicted like can't look away from it i'm there's a part of me where i'm just like man what has happened to our entire society with these these devices you know not to be that person but at the same time i feel like i don't know like when you really think about it these devices have just completely taken over the world over the past 10 years you know my first cell phone was 15 when i started working that good old oh, nokia brick the one that you could like drop off a skyscraper and it would like dent <laughs> dent the concrete because it was so un unbreakable people driving the phones in the hands scare me i agree you know what's you know what's terrifying millie is when 
you see somebody coming up behind you like in your rear view mirror and they're like on their phone as they're like slowly pulling up and i'm just like please god don't hit me please please actually the one time i've been in a car accident was from somebody who's on their phone so but there are times when it's not really appropriate to be on them but i also got a new one if i absolutely need to yeah yeah i don't know they're just a thing they've just completely transformed the world and part of me is like there's so many conveniences that come with them you know like if you're driving and you need maps somewhere super convenient or like spotify in the car amazingly convenient you're at the store you want to price shop something convenient or you know you're at the grocery store looking at your list convenient but i don't know at the same time they're just massively addicting or very addicting so I, I try very 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 hard to limit my time on my smartphone um there's uh, not to be that person but i've like legitimately thought about going back to a flip phone you know what would that be like to uh to rock a flip phone in 2021 and just have like this be where the internet is for me you know if i need to internet somewhere it's just on my computer but I don't know. I like Spotify in my car a lot. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Dude, what, what is that emote, Zach? Is that Wazzy? Oh my God. Wazzy A sus in Mario. Oh, disconnecting is so nice though. Like when I went camping with King, no service, it was nice. Right. It's There's like a, a little bit of anxiety for a moment because you don't have any service, but like, People have not had cell phones for, for years, you know? Grew up in the 80s and the 90s, and you didn't have a, a cell phone at all. Zach holding a flip phone. <laughs> Zach holding a fishy. Little itty bitty fish. You know, the one time I went fishing, Zach, the one fish I actually caught was like that size. It was like an itty bitty one. And then wifey caught this like mammoth of a fish. Hers is a lot bigger than mine. That's true. My first phone was the flip phone. See, flip phones were great. You know, for what they were at the time, I think they were pretty fantastic. Did anybody ever rock the Blackberry? Was anybody here ever, ever a Blackberry person? I never got into the Blackberry, but my mom had a Blackberry and oh man, she, she loved that thing with the little, the little ball in the middle. Anybody remember those? Yeah, yo. Freaking blackberries. Oh my goodness. This is a blast of the past right here. Oh, was this a blackberry? Is this like the first blackberry ever? It doesn't even have the ball in the middle. Can it really be a blackberry if it doesn't have the ball in the middle? I mean, come on. My dad, my dad had the blackberry. Yo, red beard, my dude. Can't stay long on vacation about to leave, but want to come and say hi, dude. Hello, Redbeard. You are amazing. I have missed you. I hope you're having an amazing vacation. Um, if you're on vacation, totally, totally get it. But I'm sending you big, massive hugs, my dude. And I hope you've been well, man. RBF in the house. Yes, in the best way. Yo, I wanted a sidekick. I never had a sidekick, but a lot of my friends did. And uh, oh, man, they loved that phone yeah did anybody here ever rock the sidekick back in the day lurking while i shower nothing like listening to sexy man while i shower i was gonna say something but probably wouldn't be tos appropriate juki you scrub a dub dub you sh shower away i love you dude i hope you're having a good shower i've missed you jukester i hope you have a good shower man um, I have the sidekick after the flip phone. Let's go. Who loves the dramatic closing of things like flip phones are crazy cool to me, right? Like, uh, that's one thing. Those new Samsung phones, the flip ones, like they have that satisfying little click, right? Click. What else? What else was, was like a classic phone, the razor, right? The razor flip phone. Oh man. This one was the one I always wanted one of these growing up. I never had one, but like I always, always wanted one. Apparently they were really easy to break though. A lot of people who had these said they, they broke pretty damn easy. But I mean, look at that. Even in two, okay. Even in 2021, if smartphones were not a thing, this would look futuristic AF, you know? I mean, obviously it, it, 
looked it kind of it has that dated flip phone look but like if smartphones never became a thing yo this looks futuristic af this looks badass man i think i think so like look at that oh my god i think that looks pretty hot you had a razor which color did you have dj the color display was awesome on the razor hell yeah dude did you have a razor king you remember the personal data assistant zephyrs and the beeper i never had a beeper i actually don't know if i ever met anybody that had a beeper the beeper was definitely before my time a wee bit grew up in a world where cell phones weren't as crazy as they are tells in my early 20s and thank god for that right right that i mean imagine if people in the 90s had smartphones that could just record everything or the 80s or the 70s it would probably be a terrible thing and a good thing with great power comes great responsibility yeah they did release a new razor the uh it's like the flip screen one which actually looks i mean it looks pretty cool it's like this one it's essentially a fold a foldable screen but yeah um i was leaving my job right as these were coming out but i did have one customer come in with it and was like playing with it for a second it looked really cool it just looks really easy to break and when it would be one thing you know if the phone was like 200 300 but when they're like a thousand dollars if i'm spending a thousand dollars on a phone i really don't want it to be fragile you know got rid of the d mod redemption i might have wazi i just kind of felt bad about that redemption um also as much as i love my smartphone nothing compares to that big thing you get from hanging up on people with flip phone, just slamming it shut and feeling the slam and oh it's just good right I think I had a Nokia flip phone. All I remember is how annoying texting was. Yeah, it was definitely different texting for sure. What was like peak texting, do you think? Blackberry, kind of the physical buttons. Because like smartphones now, I don't know. Even, even now after texting for God knows how many thousands of hours, like I still mess up words really easily when I text. You know what? What was a funny one though? This one, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I like first got my job right out of high school, like with this phone. And I remember I saw this phone. Yo, Wazi. Hi, Wazi. I saw this phone and I bought it and it was massive. And I remember everybody around me was telling me how batshit crazy I was to have such a gigantic phone. And I'm like, y'all sleeping on this. Y'all sleeping. People are going to be having big phones in, in the years to come. This was like iPhone four days and galaxy s2 galaxy s3 days and the note was like massive it just like filled your whole hand and you're just like what the f it was it was definitely not very ergonomic for sure but i got the white one and i loved the pen this was like one of my top two or three favorite phones ever it was fantastic and everybody everybody was laughing at me <laughs> i remember every single person i talked to was like why do you need a phone that big like why not youtube is great on a big phone in 2012 the worst phone i ever had was everyone was two-way calling on their next stills max out volume on speakers so glad that oh when when people would max out their volume on these phones and the speakers were so terrible it would just sound like c3po talking it was bad i'm slow texting and messing up all the time my wife is speedy as hell though i'm basically any i just like like a machine gun bullet on the on the texting right no series is done too so sad i yeah they skipped it this year which i mean i kind of get because the chips are insanely impossible to get right now but i hope they bring it back you know i haven't been much in the android realm for like the past five years or so um it was pretty much once the the plus model came out then i was just immediately switched once the iphone 6 plus came out the big one i was like okay now there's no, no reason to not try iPhone. And then once I, once I got a taste, you know, the rest is history. Now I have everything that's has an Apple logo on it, <laughs> except that thousand dollar stand. That was BS. And it was such a good midway between tablet and phone. I loved it. I agree, dude. I think the note was absolutely fantastic. And the note seven, like if it's a shame what was going on with the battery. Cause the note seven seemed like a pretty cool phone, but working 
in cell phone retail when the note 7 debacle was going down like talk about just a migraine every day because everyone would come in everyone was upset they had to get rid of their phone and bring it back and return it and people had done trade-ins and they didn't get their trade-ins back and it was just it was a nightmare it was it was a lot <laughs> um all right time to head to work be back later it's slow this morning wazi i love you my dude i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day every single person here wazi wazi's your guy everybody here should follow what's it say literally a pillar of support and one of my great great friends you have an absolutely kick-ass day at work wazi had an iphone for work samsung for, for personal so i got the best of both worlds yeah i i don't know i would I really liked the uh the Pixel phones, the Nexus phones. That that was my jam back in the day. The like Nexus 5 and Nexus 6 and Pixel. But I remember when Sprint had the phones that could function normally, they also had the option to instantly walkie-talkie without making a call. Weird time to be alive. Back in 2015, I was watching YouTube on my 3DS. Dude, do you remember that one Sprint phone? What was it called? It was like the 3D one. It was like sprint 3d phone that one was a yo it, htc evo this one was a weird one it had like this weird 3d screen that when you'd like turn it it kind of looked 3d but it like had the worst battery life ever it was like a one hour battery life off charge apparently that one was interesting that one was pretty funky yeah, the one I had uh, before I went to the iPhone was this one, the HTC One M8. Yo, did anybody else have this phone? This is one of the best phones of all time. Honestly, this one, yeah, with like the gold and the silver and the space grade. Did anybody else ever have this phone? HTC One M8. Absolutely one of my top favorite phones of all time. It was fantastic. H I miss HTC. They made great phones. They did. They were pretty underrated phones. Cross over to the dark side since we got cookies over here. I mean, I, I I love iPhones just because of like the the whole software experience they have and how everything works with MacBooks and Apple Watches and AirPods. The whole connectivity between Apple products is it's hard to explain how good it is, like unless you're kind of in the ecosystem, but it's just it's so it's good. I'm a fan. Yeah, there's a separate S Pen case for the new S line. The Fold may be the replacement, honestly. No, it was just for the demo for experimental features. Yeah, and I missed I missed when the Notes, they would put in like the best specs and everything into the Note series. So you're like always looking forward to the better version of like the S7 or the better version of the S8. You know, it's like you're really excited for that beefier, better battery, better spec version of it. But then the past like three or four times, it was essentially the same processor and same battery life. And it's like, besides the pen, what's going on here? Like, what's the point of this phone? You know, I don't know. How do we get talking about phone stuff? <laughs> Apple ecosystem. So nice. Just recently got into it and all I'm afraid for my wallet's future. The thing though, that's scary is the iPhone is like such a, it's such a hook, you know, it, it's so, uh, it's so easy to just it's so easy how everything works it's kind of scary i broke my s pen oh yeah the clickiness dude when when they brought the s pen with the clickiness dude i would take our demo pen and just like click it all day it was it was such a i don't know an adhd thing or just like click 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 waiting for customers walk through the door just click 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 oh my god that that clicking s pen was fantastic but yeah we um a few months ago for my birthday wifey bought the apple headphones and they were really expensive but my god we use them i use them so much i don't see i don't have a problem spending money on stuff as long as i feel like i'm getting really good value out of it and i'll keep it forever so like like with the headphones i mean we're using them for hours every single day um we watch movies this is what's so cool koi we have both have our Apple headphones. We have them both paired up with our Apple TV and we'll watch movies on like Netflix or YouTube or whatever. You'd like both wirelessly, both with our headphones. And it sounds amazing. Like I, I can never listen or watch movies again with uh, like the TV surround, you know? Yeah, the AirPods Max. We have them both paired up wirelessly to each other and to the TV. So we'll like watch movies 
it's completely silent in our place like no sound coming through anywhere just in our headphones and the sound experience is amazing like i can never watch movies coming from the tv again it's uh it's pretty great i like them a lot i got the blue color she got the green one and uh we've been digging them i was always scared i'd lose my s pen i think though don't they have like a, a way you could track the s pen though I didn't know that was an option does that work with the other so it works with these ones the uh what are these the the pro the pros the pros the noise canceling ones not the regular airpods you can't you cannot do that with um but the pros and the max headphones you can pair them up with each other and share audio and you can pair them up with your apple tv so yeah you and a person can be watching netflix completely silent in your place while jamming out on your headphones it's it's a kick-ass time yeah so i ended up getting these ones the blue i think the blue looks pretty damn poggy woggies i almost got the space gray one like because i'm usually black everything i get like black phone black apple watch black desk black computer like everything in my life is is pretty much space gray or black but i saw these blue and i'm like oh damn oh damn that looks pretty pretty slick I, I like the blue a lot the only weird thing about them though koi is there's no off button which i really dislike a lot and it charges via lightning which is really stupid in 2021 um the fact that there's not an off button is i get it because like you can just pick them up and put them on and they automatically connect with whatever um but yeah like just leaving them on just it does have great standby time so it's not that big a deal but like yeah yo is that dodge on the run my dude dodge how you doing man they do they have i think well technically if you use the purse thing whatever it's called i don't even remember i don't even know where ours is i think that like turns them off i think but you have to use whatever they come with these these i mean like what even are these what are these like they're i don't know wifey got the green ones though yeah she got these ones and she digs them i got the blue she got the green thinking about getting the pros here soon maybe i'll be investing in oh apple tv is great if you have an iphone apple tv is like the best a 10 million percent would recommend it being able to like just one click share what's on your phone to the tv is amazing or like you're watching a youtube video on your phone click one button and it goes to the tv i'm sorry i didn't mean for this whole entire thing to be about like phones and apple stuff but you wouldn't you know it's pretty cool dude dodge man how have you been dude how has your past few weeks been man how are you doing today how is the beautiful and the mighty and the fantastic dodge doing not not sponsored i'm not sponsored by anything the only thing i'm sponsored by is good love and good vibes and good friends so cheers to good love and good vibes and good friends if y'all could be sponsored by a company is there a particular one that you would be interested in getting sponsored in out of curiosity Love my Apple TV watching you on it. Oh, not on the TV, not on the big screen. Ah, hi, Army. How you doing? <laughs> the Porsche, dude. Imagine getting sponsored by Porsche. Oh my God. That would be, that'd be pretty Gucci. Good to see you, Zeph. I'm happy you're doing good, Dodge. Dodge, if you could get sponsored by any single company, who do you think you'd want to be sponsored by? Do you see the new PS5 controller color and plates for the PS5 they made from Sony? I did not. Are there new PS5 controllers out? Really? I have the white and the black one and I dig them. Though I almost got the red one instead of the, the black one, but like, I don't know. I, I really, I really dig. Whoa. What are these? ps5 console covers what has anybody else seen these hold on what is this whoa whoa wow wow 
yeah definitely smart idea to say ps5 console sold separately because those are like it's still impossible to find <laughs> interesting so they're like that's that's interesting purple for i mean that purple looking pretty good i mean the blue though come on that blue oh but if i was gonna get one i'm such a <laughs> oh i'd probably just go black oh i'm such a loser i'm just always <laughs> i'm so boring i'm like just black just give me black everything i'm such a i'm so boring i don't know that blue one is pretty hot though i mean that blue one is like mighty hot holy crap that pink i mean that pink is like a vivid pink i'd go black too ps5 consoles don't exist right Dude, a PS2, like an OG gray one would look so badass. I know. Looks like a commercial for a three ring binder. Uh, this, I mean, these look pretty cool. Except taking the, I've only taken off the sides the, like the first day I got it. And uh, yeah, they're kind of a pain in the ass to take off. I'd get everything in white or black. I mean, what, see the thing with white and black is they just kind of, they're universal, you know, they like look good with everything. Whereas, you know, if you're rocking a, uh, yellow Jordans and yellow shirt and yellow, I don't know. Do you need your, I guess, do you need your console cover to, I get, I don't know. This red actually kind of looks like the red controller, you know, now I just imagine someone walking outside in their yellow Yeezys with their light blue PS5. Oh yeah. They are $55 for those covers. Holy crap. That's actually pretty expensive. I, what about the, what about the, what do you call it? New PS5 controllers? Hold on. If, or, or not. PS5 controller. Did they announce new controllers as well? Hmm. I don't see them. I don't see them. Hmm. These, these third party ones though are crazy. Yo, that like white and gray looks real nice. Honestly, the red does look pretty nice too. Honestly, the covers, the covers are interesting. What do you think? Uh, so does this mean the third party ones can be sold again? Yeah. Weren't they going kind of crazy on people doing like third party accessories? Sony was going pretty intense about that, right? It's hard to match purple with natural wood grain right i know i know whereas like i mean honestly the white is pretty damn bold in its own way johnny's box like does the white go with natural wood i mean probably a little bit more so than purple but like the white's pretty bold if you got the the wood furniture the wood grain the wood textures and all of that i mean the white's pretty bold right Controllers are purple, pink, and light blue. Okay, I want to I want to see these controllers. Hold on, let's see here. Ooh, 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 yo! Oh, there's just like another YouTube video for it. Okay, yo. Okay, that blue looks really, really, really nice. Actually, <laughs> they're kind of like galaxy colors. They should have released these during Guardians of the Galaxy. Dude, I don't know. That purple is real nice, too. And the pink. Ooh, ooh. when do these when do these go on sale? I don't want to know. I don't need them. I don't need them. I already got two controllers. I don't even have any multiplayer games, <laughs> so. Oh, but really that uh, that blue looks mighty hot. I'm feeling the, the color. I'm feeling that color palette too. Honestly, these are like my kind of colors. That blue is just calling to my soul so much. I mean, the red looks nice. The pink looks really, really nice. The purple. I dig the purple too. All of these. I would, I would rock all of these. Making me want a PS5 more than the games, right? That blue is calling. It's that blue is, that is my kind of blue. That's like the exact same hue color as like my, uh, it's like my name. You see it? Like the name, my hue color for my Twitch name. It's like the exact same tone, I swear. And for the X Mad, but Seth, it's the Galaxy Collection. Come on, they're only it's only sixty dollars for a controller that you don't need. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. The lights too. I have the red one, but the purple one I really want to get. The purple looks really nice. I really dig the pink too. I would get. I mean, I'd probably 
get all of them. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, all of them just look really good. I dig. I like them a lot. The lights too. Yeah, I have my lights set so they change. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of the Nano Leafs. They're they're pretty good. Pay seventy eight with tax on Saturday at GameStop. Holy crap, Ola. Yeah, I'm trying to be a little. You know, since I'm kind of in the job hunting phase, I'm 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 trying to be a little bit careful with spending spending money. So you're worse than me. Yeah, we where we live at though. We we live in an interesting spot in the country because like there's where we go shopping, there's no sales tax. So yeah, I'm job hunting at the moment as well. What job are you looking for out of curiosity, Gojira? Mean scam stop where you bring in like your old console and all 50 of your games and they give you like four dollars of in-store trading credit have you got any calls back i have not gotten any call back for that particular one king um but i'm keeping keeping hopes up you know uh, um i think i'm gonna send him a follow-up email after stream today just because i've heard from some research online when you do a job interview it's always good to kind of follow up and just express your your gratitude and and yep follow-up emails are super great so a lot of people online were saying usually do it like two to three days afterwards so i i'm about like a week behind oh but still better than nothing right thank exactly thank you for the interview for the opportunity to talk uh just just to just for the opportunity right job hunting hype i hope so i've gotten um I've, I've, I've put out like 50 applications, honestly. I'm just trying really hard to look at work from home stuff and stuff that's not retail, stuff that's not retail. You know, working nine years in retail is like, I'm, I'm very much ready for something that's a little bit different. So at the moment it's at a grocery store. Grocery store, ooh, do you get like discounts working at the grocery store? How is the job hunting going? It's been good, I've gotten one interview that I've completed. I haven't like interviewed. I mean, I, 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 my last job, I was at for like nine years. I did a couple interviews for like management and stuff in the meantime, but like I have not done many interviews. So it was definitely a little, like a little anxiety. Um, but if it's just one of those things, like the more you do it, the better you get. Right. So it's just kind of like, you just got to get in there and get uncomfortable and the anxiety will come, but you just gotta, every time you do, it'll, every time you do an interview, it'll get easier and easier, right? An open copy of the new Call of Duty. How much can I sell it for? I can do $2.99. Thank God, ain't that the truth, dude? Wasn't there actually a new Call of Duty that just came out, like Vanguard? Have you tried it out, Zach? Zach, are we DBD tomorrow? King? Moves, maybe, maybe. Some DBD tomorrow, possibly. And here's in retail is enough. You could get what you want. You control your destiny, brother. The universe has your back. I feel it in my soul, Aramie. I feel it. I believe it. I'm embracing it. I just, I want, I want a new chapter. I have been learning. I've, I was mentioning it earlier. I've been learning a lot of uh, like coding, not like a lot, but like I've been doing coding classes every single day, learning a bit about like HTML, CSS, um, some JavaScript stuff, kind of like trying to connect everything and I feel like I'm learning a decent amount. I'm keeping that avenue open and maybe we could even do like a coding stream one day, you know? I think that could be pretty fun. Look at that man. I I appreciate the love a thousand percent DP. Thank you so much. Turn me down. So I'm gonna do a giant eagle in my state. I'll call a person today, see if they have another position in the same place. And I feel like a lot of times recruiters like seeing that. You know, they like seeing that persistence or you're just you know, we didn't pick them this time, but they're coming back to try again. I feel like that persistence is a good look, right? DVD Christmas stuff looks pretty fun. Maybe we'll see how it goes. Okay. I think it would be fun to stream it, Zach. You know, if you're okay with it and, and all that, but maybe, maybe Tuesday night, community night, dead by daylight, dead by midnight. I know CSS HTML very well. If you need any tips, let me know. I've i i am i've had a couple people reach out about that dp and i will definitely keep that in mind for sure i feel like css and html they're kind of like they go very well together and i'm kind of things are starting to click a bit but it, it is totally like learning a new language it's it's definitely weird you know it's it's i'm like reading through everything and doing tutorials and like 
following along and typing along and I'm like, I see how everything clicks, but it kind of feels like I'm learning algebra all over again. It's pretty, pretty different, but you know, one step at a time, right? Only if you can sing it again. DBD, Zach can confirm I'm the best beginner he's played with. Beginner, beginner. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's actually pretty fun though, Juke. I think we've only played it like two or three times, but it's it's totally like a horror movie brought to life in a way. It's pretty cool. Be happy whatever job I get along. I have a job. That's a great, great mindset to have. And you can always get a job today and not give up on pursuing new jobs in the future, right? There's a part of me that... I mean, there is a part of me that's kind of like... Maybe I should apply at just jobs kind of similar to what I worked at in the past and then still keep my options open just to kind of get something. But I don't know. We'll take it one day at a time, I think. Get into PHP and JavaScript. PH yep, yep. JavaScript is the one I'm going to learn after I do. I kind of have like a, a path. I'm trying to do HTML and CSS. And then I wanted to do JavaScript after and do Java and like Python after that. Um, PHP is, is another one that's on my horizon as well, but they're all kind of just these ways of, I don't know. I always looked at coding and stuff and I'm just like, what is this all even for? Like, how does this, how does this do what it does? And the more I'm kind of learning about each language, I see how that language adds elements over here or like JavaScript adds inter interaction tools on your website. Right. Or like HTML and CSS like the styling or the base canvas itself. It's it's all very interesting. I only have one hour played. It's a new Xmas event going on. Sign in bonus all month long. Oh, wait, is there another bonus for it for Dead by Daylight, Zach? I get Elden Ring on PC or PS5. I still haven't ordered yet. Um, I don't know. I'll probably end up getting it on PC. But at the same time, when I was streaming some PC games, I don't know. It, it seemed like it was a little bit more, uh, my computer wasn't liking it. You know, my computer wasn't liking playing a game and all the quality settings and streaming it at the same time. It kind of struggled a little bit running the two of them. So I might just do PS five, but I mean, PC you can do randomizers and stuff like that. I did get stuff like that set up. By the way, I was able to get a Sekiro randomizer completely set up dark souls one and dark souls three randomizer. I got I think it was cinders. I got the cinders mod installed. So if y'all are down, you know, maybe we did beat Sekiro. Maybe we could go back through and uh, do a randomizer or I honestly have no idea what to play now. I'm kind of at a weird point where I'm just like, I don't I don't know what to do going forward. Maybe we should play chess. I was thinking about that. We just just do chess. I've been into chess lately. Got a sign in daily to unlock a bonus. Not as big as the one uh, time, but they always do it. OK. It's kind of like free experience points, right, Zach? Yeah, JavaScript is a must these days. It makes your website more dynamic. Right, right, more dynamic. That's the best way to phrase it, DP. Kind of gives it the uh, the little menu burgers and the drop downs and the clicks and it takes you here. And yeah, I I'm definitely, I'm excited for learning it for sure. Just have no clue what to stream anymore. I know, King. You know, I'm, I, there is a part of me that's honestly pretty jealous i don't know of some of my friends who are really big into games like genshin impact or people who are who are like final fantasy 14 streamers or who are like fortnite streamers or like pick your game that gets like weekly or monthly updates um there's definitely a part of me that's like i feel like that'd be so easy to do you know you just play genshin all day and then updates come and you stream the updates and it's like it's it's kind of a thing. I don't know. I don't know if I should try to find something like that for myself, but I don't know what it would be. You know, I don't, I don't know. Maybe souls games with randomizers and mods and stuff. That was kind of what I was thinking. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many games out there and so little time. There's definitely a part of me that, uh, thinks being a, a just plain variety streamer kind of makes it a little bit tough to grow, you know? Still need 100% that in my free time, my first time. Barbie horse adventure, yo. I think King should play Barbie horse. Is it Barbie horse or Barbie house? I don't know what to play that I enjoy and others enjoy. Yeah. Marbles? Marble stream? 
holy crap oh my god johnny's box had my hands on a 3060 two 3070 ti's several 3080 ti's but i still can't find a ps5 <laughs> like one of the throws in the ps4 castlevania could be pretty dope man how are you how are you getting these gpus johnny's box that's crazy um do, are you like in discords where they do the alerts and stuff when they come out or like on twitter chats or something that has them it it's still crazy that we're a year past when the playstation and xbox came out is it the same way with the series x or is it just the ps5 that's like insanely hard to find because yeah i still have friends all the time that say they still have not been able to find a ps5 play cinders or convergence i i think i got cinders downloaded i did see convergence as well but a lot of people are saying cinders on dark souls 3 is a little bit more it changes things a little bit more than convergence does but i haven't seen either so speaking of elden ring i started community challenge to do a soul level one elden ring just juke going in hard right out the gate a lone chat race 12k out of the 150k so do you think your first time playing it is going to be soul level one that sounds pretty brutal dude got stock is a great app to know when things that sell out quickly drop interesting got stock i haven't heard of that one um i've done uh what do you call it uh new egg i've done new egg quite a few times but that's like a what a one in a million chance used to work at best buy so i know all the people who work there they let me know when stock is coming in Ooh, what's what's the best day johnny's box i've i think i've heard tuesday and thursday at 9 30 a.m pacific standard time they kind of get restocks you know i mean i already have a gpu so like i don't need another one but you know if it mining can make money oh i don't want to i don't want to do that i don't want to do that I, king actually has kind of got me king mentioned something a few weeks ago about not mining on his gpu anymore just because of how crazy the shortage is and everything and that's got me thinking um i'm probably gonna stop mining on my gpu just because yeah like my i have a 3090 the founders edition 3090 and that 1500 dollars graphics card people have bought them on ebay for like 32 3300 dollars and i'm like that's that's you know 85 percent of what i bought for my entire pc so like should i really be doing that on my gpu when i don't have an extra just in case something breaks you know I should probably baby it a little bit, you know, probably tuck it into bed, get some, you know, warm coffee and all that. <laughs> Wario 64. I've heard of that one before. Wario 64. Yeah. Twitter account that helped me find those console game deals and so on. Yeah. I think I've heard of Wario 64 before. Hot Stolvik. Never mind. I can't type. Uh, it's completely random. They got stock one Friday at 4 p.m. Interesting. Convergence for crazy magic caster stuff and cinders for crazy build variety. Yeah, with cinders and convergence, don't they just add more weapons in, kind of change the, I, I don't know, like change bosses abilities and, and it just kind of changes everything, right? I wouldn't have got my PS5, Switch OLED and Xbox Series S. Yeah, I wonder if the Series X is as crazy difficult to get as the PS5 is, because PS5 is, it's just kind of become a meme at this point of how insane it is to get one. We reach at least 50k. I'll do soul level one as my first playthrough of Elden Ring. I accidentally added the one at the beginning of the community challenge. Never done soul level one with a new souls game. So since I only have four streams left. All right, everybody. Wait, Juke, can we actually like, can we go to your channel right now and drop points? I'm kind of going to check. Let's, let's see here. I'm just going to go to your stream. I'm just going to go to your channel right now. Go to your chat. Let's see. Channel points. Can we just, or do we, do you have to be live? Let's see. Soul level one. Uh, oh, available when the stream is live. Damn it. Okay. I thought I'd try. I thought I'd at least give it a shot. You know, <laughs> I didn't play through centers all the way, but I felt like convergence changed more in game. Gotcha. Gotcha spot water blocks for my motherboard and gpu a bit nervous to ruin my hardware considering it's so hard to get your hands on now dude that's 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 ballsy to take your gpu apart and like i mean if I, I feel like if you follow a good guide and everything you should be okay right but like 
that is definitely ballsy to just completely take everything apart and then put a water block on it and just stuff water it's but you get like amazing temps that way right and better performance typically and then silent you know pc and all that do you like extra stuff to capture your computer display or just the software do you have like extra stuff to capture like on the bottom right here so this is a so this is essentially like a scene um like a different scene and then i have it put on here as like a that makes sense let me see here like if we go if you can kind of see my obs here so you just go add a scene and then there i have a ton of different ones so you could be like add my face as an example and then hi it's another one of me hi hi big face <laughs> Um, but yeah, scenes within scenes is kind of my, that's my go-to for all of that stuff. Um, yeah, like, or let's see, need to take off, buddy. Great seeing you. Hope to catch you again soon. Redbeard, you have a great rest of your vacation. Thank you so much for hanging out and popping in and vibing and being your RBF legendary self. I hope you have a seriously badass vacation, dude. Like when you show YouTube videos. Oh, um like like if we're watching this this i have yeah i'm just capturing my display essentially so just like uh just display capture with it yeah when someone was playing convergence mod they allow twitch streamers become npcs or spells and weapons and so in the game which is why i like them all that's really cool honestly um that's like a really 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 cool way to uh to play the games that's a big part of like why i kind of want to get it on on pc versus ps5 but on ps5 you get the fancy booklet and it like looks all pretty and yeah display capture that's been my go-to um yeah display capture i did reconfigure everything to uh is it actually is a stream showing in 1080p i switched everything to 4k and I did I did I actually do output to 4k or 1080 I, I don't think it would yeah it still says 1080 okay I don't think it would show on Twitch if it was 4k dude you need to try uh the final Fantasy. I know dude I have the I downloaded the seventh heaven thing I just haven't I just haven't put it together yet 1080p 60 cool cool okay yeah over my few days off I like reconfigured OBS to like record in higher quality so maybe do some YouTube stuff with it um, I know we probably have done like a little bit of a shorter stream today, but I was kind of anticipating just doing a little bit of a shorter stream today. Wifey's going to head out here in a second, but I was thinking she'll be down to go. Uh, hi wifey. Hope you hope your coffee's yummy. Y'all down to go raid somebody. Maybe go give somebody some, some epic raid love. Y'all be down for that out of curiosity display captures everything though but a window capture will only output a particular software mm, youtube has great for stream yeah dude and youtube you can, you can stream in 4k in youtube right seven remake it's over i know 70 dollars for pc7 remake that's a lot of money that is a lot of money but imagine imagine the mods imagine the mods and streaming at really you can stream at a higher resolution than 1080 i thought 1080 was like the the ceiling for twitch or is it just bit rate because i guess you could you could stream in 1440 at 6000 or like 4k at 6000 it probably just would not look the best oh on youtube you've done 1440 dude i would i wonder if twitch will ever up their bit rate i kind of doubt it but i don't know if they could up the bit rate i would be happy with that everybody everyone here every single legend here hop aboard the missy oh my goodness how you doing missy love you so much to pieces i'm so happy i gotta see you for a second how you doing missy everybody hop aboard the raid train we are going to go raid the magnificent the wonderful the absolutely outstanding sauce gentari she is playing animal crossing and i know we we're talking about some animal crossing love earlier um Oh, what a just a kick-ass way to, to come back streaming thank you all so much for being here and and vibing and just the time for the raid apparently yeah just doing a little bit of a shorter stream today um but i appreciate you so much for popping in mizzy i miss you to pieces i hope you're doing amazing um take care man have a good one peace everyone i will be i'll be back tomorrow 
and I don't know. We'll we'll do something. We'll do something more than just chatting. I don't know. What do y'all have any any opinions what we should play tomorrow? Maybe we'll just play chess. We'll just do a chess stream. <laughs> <laughs> love you dude love you as well zaki and gojira and mizzy and star and dp and jukester and every single one of you there is the raid message y'all copy and paste it we are going to go give epic gentari amazing love she is a fantastic streamer hop aboard the train i promise you will not want to miss this i will see you all tomorrow my friends you know what time it is it's raid time let's go